Hi, I'm Chewy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to smoke a lamb shoulder to make pulled lamb. We are also gonna make a super tasty binder and our own rub. So settle in, pour yourself a drink, and let's get into it. So lamb is one of the proteins that I like to use a binder on. So rather than just squeezing a bottle of something that we've brought in the store and rubbing it on, I figured we may as well boost that flavor with something that we make ourselves. So into a bottle, we need to put a teaspoon of minced garlic, a teaspoon of mustard, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, the juice of one lemon, keep that rind for later on, two tablespoons of olive oil, shake that up really good. Now while we are here, we might as well give the video a thumbs up, just about there, that's it. Cheers. And we can just put this aside for later. We need to pack on some flavor onto this lamb. So we may as well go with my tried and tested lamb flavors. So into a rub shaker or a bowl if you don't have one, we're going to add three parts of salt flakes, two parts of lemon pepper, one part of dried rosemary, one part of dried oregano, one part of granulated garlic, and one part of onion powder. Now I say parts, you can make up as much or as little of this rub as you want. Just remember, give it a good mix up. Today we're using a square cut shoulder and it's pretty straightforward in how to trim this up. We need to remove all of the hard fat that just won't render down during the cook. And just remove any of these small daggy bits, they'll just dry up during the cook. Now plus the fact we want to be seasoning the meat and not all the fat that's on the shoulder. So also a square cut shoulder will have a few visible glands and I don't know if you can see that, you can see there. Um, so you can get your knife and dig it out and also you'll have under the fat pocket here and down the edge. So you'll be able to dig them out as well. So no freaking out when you find them, it's perfectly normal. So now we are ready to add some flavor. Rub a dub dub, let's give this lamb some rub. Well, let's give it a good coating of the binder first. Now give it a good dose of it. Don't be shy. You wanna rub it all in, making sure everywhere gets some coverage. And flip it over and do the other side. Once the lamb is all oiled up and ready for action, it's time to give it a good coating of the rub. Just remember to apply the rub about 30 centimeters above your meat. This just allows the rub particles to separate a bit before they hit your meat, giving you much more even coverage. Once the lamb is encased in its blanket of flavor, we can now get that barbecue ready. Today, I'm gonna to be using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and the snake method. And how I'll do that? I'm gonna put in 15 unlit briquettes into this chimney starter and light them up. Now the reason I'm going to start with 15 and not 12, which is my normal one, 12 will get you 107 to 135 degrees any day of the week using the snake method. I want to cook a little bit higher today at 150 to 160, so chucking in an extra three lit briquettes is going to get me to that higher temp. Then I'll build the snake using briquettes on the charcoal grate. Keeping the snake as neat as possible, and then I'm just going to add some chunks of sugar gum smoking wood and just remember to keep them about 50 mil apart and that way as each one starts to smolder it doesn't ignite the next one so once the 15 briquettes are ashed over and ready to go place them carefully at the start of the snake i'll also place a foil pan down the bottom to catch any drippings i'll put the grill on and attach an ambient temp thermometer to the grill. I want to be cooking this lamb at a high indirect heat today, and I want to be in that range of around 150 to 160 degrees Celsius. Lamb lends well to the hotter heat when trying to render down that heavy fat content. So don't be scared to push it a little. Okay, so the Weber is at temp and it's holding nice and stable. So we can just place the lamb on the cooking grill, keeping it as far away 
from that heat source as we can. Place the lid back on, positioning the lid vent over the lamp. This is gonna draw that heat and that smoke across our food. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? Just hit the little button down there, and while you're at it, hit the bell button. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Cheers. I'm gonna leave that alone for two hours before I check on it. Now, I know some of you out there like to see all the settings, and I've been keeping a constant temp of around 155 to 158 degrees Celsius. Now, how I did that was by leaving the lid vent wide open because it is the exhaust vent and you need to get that dirty smoke out. And the bowl vent, I've closed to about three quarters open. All right, it's been two hours now. So it is time to check the internal temp of that shoulder. Oh, well, it's looking pretty good, but it still wants to come up a little bit more. You can see the snakes traveled around to here because we are running a lot hotter. So I'm just gonna twist the grill around a little bit. Using my heat proof gloves, just twist the grill, get the meat away from that heat. I'd say we're about half an hour away from boating up that lamb shoulder. So all up, the lamb shoulder has been smoking away for two and a half hours now. It's hit that mark of around that 76 degrees internal. I'm happy with the bark, so let's get it out. Ooh, look at that. I'd say it's time to treat this lamb to a nice day spa, give it a bath and wrap it up. We're starting to get some pullback on the bones. So to the pan, I'm gonna add two onions that I've halved. Just leave the skin on and also a whole head of garlic just halved. Place all that underneath. Remember the lemon rinds, we can add them as well. And some fresh rosemary. Put on some butter and about half a bottle of red wine. Now don't you get jealous. You know you'll always be my number one. Just cover that with foil and put it back into the Weber. And I'll come back and check that in a couple of hours. Okay, it's two hours later and it's time to check that land. How's it probing? Oh, beautiful. And temp? About 94. Now you should only use temp as a rough guide. That land was gonna be reading anywhere between 93 and say 99 degrees Celsius. What I was checking was how it was probing. And you've heard the term like a hot knife through butter. That's exactly how it should go. No resistance, straight through. So now we still need to let this rest for a good hour or so. So I'm gonna take the lamb out of this, because it is sitting in a lot of juice, and I'm just gonna transfer it onto that foil. Now, just to stop the bones from poking through, I've just grabbed some extra foil, and I'm gonna put some on top there. Don't forget to leave me a comment and also share this with your mates if you like the recipe because you know what? They could be making this for you while you're sitting back having a few drinks. Cheers. Up the edges a bit. I want to put a little bit of that juice in. But not a lot, just a bit. And now we want to wrap this up. Now wrap that up in an old towel. Place an old towel at the bottom of an esky. Place the lamb shoulder on top. Another towel on top, lid on. I'm gonna let that rest for about an hour. And just to show you something, the Weber is still humming along at 156 degrees. Remember, it was at 155 to 158. Perfect. We are cooking with an indirect heat and using the snake method today. All up, our cook's taken nearly five hours. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a 10 beer cook. You can make that a 12 beer cook if you include the rest time. Rest time's over. How good does that look? Just get rid of the bones. Look at that. So all we need to do now is just pull it all apart and just discard any overly fatty bits or any gristle that you come across. Like that, you're not gonna eat that. There you have it, pulled lamb made super easy and super tasty using that snake method. Cheers for watching.